There are a lot of fantastic things about living in Vancouver, British Columbia, but there are some definitive downsides to living here also. Today, I'm going to share with you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So get ready for some brutal honesty coming up right after this. My name's David Crawford. I'm a realtor with eXp Realty right here in downtown Vancouver and the greater Vancouver area. And I love helping people buy and sell real estate in the greater Vancouver, British Columbia area. I want you to call, text, email, or reach out anytime if you ever have a question about living here. Now, on to the pros. When I first came to Vancouver, I was struck by just how awesome it is. It's absolutely unequivocally stunning. There's no denying Vancouver is a beautiful city. Until you've been there, you'll find it hard to believe how amazing an experience it can be just to look around. Nestled between the Pacific Ocean and the mighty Rocky Mountains, it's very difficult to find a view that is not astounding because of the landscape. From almost anywhere, you can see majestic mountains and often a view of the harbor as well. You even get plenty of beaches and there are lots where you can go for a walk or watch the sunset or even if it's too cold for swimming, just an hour or maybe two away, you can be surrounded by forests with trees so big you'll feel like a smurf in comparison. They even have almost 1,000 acres of old growth forest in Stanley Park, right in downtown Vancouver. Other amazing sites are only hours away. Another great thing about living in Vancouver is the mild climate compared to the rest of Canada. If you've ever lived in Toronto in the wintertime, you'll know what I'm talking about. Best climate in Canada, if you don't enjoy the Canadian freeze, Vancouver barely ever reaches below zero. It has snow the odd occasion, but I'm okay with that. And it does get hot in the summers. If you're sick of Ottawa's freezing winters and boiling sticky summers, you'll like this. Or maybe just be sick with jealousy. I've lived in Ottawa and I know how hot it can get and humid. Vancouver winter temperatures average around 4 degrees to 6 degrees with summer temperatures averaging around 18 to 22. No wonder so many people, especially retirees, dream of moving here. Easy access to ski resorts. There are several world-class ski resorts just two to four hours drive from downtown Vancouver. Whistler, Blackcomb, Cypress Mountain, Grouse Mountain, Mount Seymour. And you can go a little further into the interior, be close to Sun Peaks, the list goes on. If you love to ski, there aren't many places in the world that would be more perfect for you. When Vancouver started up its commuter rail, they didn't put it underground like so many cities do. They put it above the city. That's right. If you're lucky enough to be able to use it, you get a view with your daily journey to work. Originally built in 1986 for Expo, the initial track has now been joined by two additional lines totaling almost 50 kilometers of rail line. More expansions are planned in the future. Vancouver is very diverse and multicultural. There is something for everyone in terms of restaurants, clubs, and community. Vancouver is generally a very accepting place. A lot of diverse culture brings in a lot of diverse food, which I love, which is a massive benefit to being able to live here. Particularly, Vancouver has some of the best sushi in the entire world. I eat a lot of that also, which we happen to love. Yep, the rumors are true. If you love sushi, you're gonna love Vancouver, but let's not forget all about the other amazing cuisines Vancouver has to offer. So how do you feel about these pros? Do you think they're worth moving for? Let me know in the comments below. Now onto the cons, and I'm not gonna hold back either. BC, by the way, stands for bring cash for reasons you'll learn about in this section. One of the biggest cons to living here is the expense. 
Vancouver has a high cost of living. Everything from rent to gas to groceries. Vancouver's high cost of housing is one of the major factors to take into account if you'd like to be a resident of this city. Since the land here is limited, the supply is low and the demand is extremely high. With scarcity comes rising prices. And when you factor in the taxes added to foreign housing, prices aren't expected to drop. Another con to living in Vancouver, British Columbia is the traffic. To me, this is the worst. It's the worst in North America. While it may be hard to believe, traffic jams in Vancouver are worse than in Los Angeles. Unless you can walk to work, be prepared to spend an extra 11 days a year in gridlock. The hustle and bustle of the city makes the traffic worse than other cities. If you want to beat the traffic, you can consider walking to work or biking, but this would mean spending extra minutes or hours on your daily commute. The next con to living in Vancouver is the higher crime rate, which is higher than other provinces. Well, this doesn't necessarily mean that you have to look over your shoulder as crimes are everywhere. Vancouver still has higher crime rates compared to smaller cities being considered as one of the largest metropolitan areas in Canada, it's no surprise that it has one of the top 10 highest crime rates. On a positive note though, violent crime rates in Vancouver have decreased in the last few years. Another con to living here in Vancouver is the rain. And I have to tell you, it bugs me and I hate it, but it only takes one day of sunshine to make up for those 80 days of rainy days and nights, I tell you. The weather between October and April is consistently overcast with cold rain, some cases snow, but mostly rain. Rarely any sunlight during this time. Very unpredictable weather. Rain stops and starts, lingering for days and weeks. The truth is, every community has issues. And these are all kinds of challenges we have to deal with when living in Vancouver, British Columbia. People here really care and are working hard to make the city greener and way more friendlier and cleaner and more welcoming to the world. Like every city, it does have its cons, but I gotta tell you, to me, I absolutely love Vancouver. So I sure hope this helps you understand the pros and cons of living in Vancouver, British Columbia. If you have any questions at all about living here, I am 100% here for you. So just call, text, or email, or reach out however you like. We have a lot of video coming out on Vancouver, and you're not going to want to miss them. Very, very informative and entertaining. So please hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate it, and have a fantastic day. And if you're trying to figure out if you should rent or buy, check out this video here. Or if you're looking for inside information on tips and buying in Vancouver, check out this one. Uh, take a after this. Coming right up after this.